Today's project is going to be trying to um, put DCC, that's dig Digital Command Control, into an O-Gage Lima Class 33 engine. Now, I've been looking on the internet for a while and um, you know I've noticed that it looks great fun to have all the sounds and everything else. However, it was a little bit of a shock as I'm sure many people have found to actually realise how much it costs to get into these things. Anyway, with um, that in mind, we picked ourselves up a Lima engine that I will show you the other day. Lovely little engine and for the princely sum of £25 we managed to get ourselves an engine which I believe will be quite suitable for fitting with DCC decoder equipment and give us the sound and everything else. Having having um, bought the engine we, we um, had a word with those nice people at Digitrains and we um, got for ourselves the equipment that we will need to bring this thing to life. Starting with the system itself, we um, bought the um, Dynamis system, which essentially comes in two components. The first being the command station, which is this thing here, which simply plugs into the mains. And in order to make it work, just switch the thing on. You will notice a flashing green light. What you do is you switch on the controller, the remote controller which works on infrared. So, the receiver unit picks up the fact that this has been switched on. You press the stop button to activate it and you'll see that we get a solid green light on the Dynamis control station. Anyway, um, <clears throat> we thought that we would have some fun with it and what we've done is we fitted a DCC unit with um, sounds with, with um, a sound speaker in it too. You'll see that the speaker is quite large, it's 40 centimeters across which allows it to be a little bit louder. Additionally, the um, DCC unit al allows you to control lighting as well. So what we've done is we've popped some LEDs into the body shell of the train in order that we can have some running lights. Okay. I'll just put the body back on. Now, controlling controlling the, the, the train with this unit is actually very, very simple. And the um, first thing that I'd like to show you are the lights. Simply pressing the lights button will turn the lights on the train. The controller has got a joystick here for the speed and to select other functions, and a button here to control the direction of the train. The lighting unit is, is actually directionally dependent, so by changing the direction of the train, that will turn the red lights on at the back and the white at the front, and simply to reverse, you change the direction of the train too. So by looking at the lights, you, you always know which way it's going to go. The decoder, which is what I've installed in, into, this, into this train, controls everything and through a series of menu commands on the um, remote control you can, you, can, you can tell the train what to do. The sounds are probably the most fun part of all of this and um, <clears throat> I shan't go through all of them in detail but um, in, the, in the instructions they um, suggest that you start by turning I think it's the triple pump on which is this button here and you'll hear the train starting to make a noise. The next thing to do is to turn the motor on and you'll hear it start up. In order to move forward you just select the speed that you want and you wait for the train to respond. Brakes coming off and off we go. 
to go the other way. Reverse the direction. Select your speed. I selected one out of 28. And off she goes again. The the sound decoder has got lots of lots of different sounds and functions on it, but a couple of the fun ones, you've got the sound of the brakes, you've got the sound of the decoupling. That was function six. And really good fun, you get the sound of the horns, either single tone or twin tone.